If you are a walker or a bicycler and always wanted to know how far you walked or how far you bicycled, you want to check out the GMAP pedometer. The GMAP pedometer is an extremely useful and interesting use of Google Maps and you can get to it by going to gmap-pedometer.com and here's how to use it. When you first arrive you're presented with this screen and a full view of the United States. So to get to where you are you can simply type in a zip code or a city and then just click go or hit enter on your keyboard. Then it'll zoom you into the area where you want to start mapping out where you walked or where you bicycled. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and you have to use the little pluses and minuses here. Plus gets closer, minus gets further away. And I'm going to get in pretty tight to the downtown area. Now I went north of the downtown so I need to go further south on my map so I need to hit the south button here or pan down. So you can hit the south button here to pan down or you can click on the map and drag it wherever you want. So now I have the downtown area of my city in view and now I want to map out a short walk that I did to see how far it was. So once I have the whole route in view, I'm going to click over here on the left where it says start recording. Then I'm going to double click here on the map where I started, right on the street, and it'll give you a starting point. And now all I have to do is double click on the next point or the corner where I turned. It'll draw a line between the two points and as you can see it puts the mileage here. And then I'm going to double click again and I'm going to double click and say I turned on this street. You can see how smart the GMAPS pedometer is. It follows the curvature of the street. You don't have to worry about trying to carefully map that out. You can just double click on each corner that you walked. So I'll double click on my next point. As you can see the map will move around for you if the route kind of goes off of the screen. And then I'll end up back where I finished. There's my route and I can come over here to the left and see that it was 3.7 miles. And that's all with just getting to the pedometer and double clicking on the map to start mapping out my route. You can see the reason why it followed the curvature of the streets because I had it set to the default which is automatically for runners or walkers. And if you put it for cyclists it'll do the same thing. If you want to draw straight lines and just see point to point distances then you're going to click manually here. And you can of course turn from metric to English distances and then you can print the map if you like. And just like all other Google Maps you can choose the satellite view you can choose the hybrid view which is satellite with street names. You can choose the topography view and then something new they've added if you're in a larger city is the OSM which is called the Open Street Map which is a new project in the last couple of years where folks are getting together and actually putting pictures and more personal information about a certain area and uh, the Open Street Map is kind of an interesting project in itself. But for this purpose the map usually works just fine. Give GMAP Pedometer a try if you're a bicyclist, a walker, or a runner, and I think you'll find it a fun and helpful tool to use as you walk, bike, or run.